Good morning, friends. Day 12 and my first meal of the day. I know I should have had peanut butter toast for the protein, but quite frankly, I just wanted some jelly today. So I'm going to have some toast. This was from the bread I made yesterday, some cucumber and some raspberry. Now, I need to tell you guys, I'm going to be gone for a couple of days. Uh, I have to go down to the city for some business. And while I'm there, I'm going to spend a couple of days with the grandkids and my kids so I will pick this challenge up again as if, you know, I wasn't gone. So don't be worried that I'm not posting for a couple of days. And um, anyway, we'll get back to making today's videos. All right, guys, I apologize. I was reminded I forgot to show you my bread. Well, we've already eaten some of it, but this is my bread and I will make sure I put that link down below like I had said I would because by the time I uploaded it was pretty late. Anyway that is my loaf of bread and I found this little bread slicer thing at a thrift store for a dollar and I really really like it. It keeps the bread fresh and then I can just slice off however many pieces and they're they're not all wonky and you know too fat on one end and too skinny on the other. So if you happen to see one, it's worth the, the time grabbing it. All right, for dinner tonight, I'm going to make a quick macaroni salad with what I had left over from the other night. I'm going to use a small onion that I took from the garden. For whatever reason, this one already died off, so I grabbed it when I was out there. I'm going to chop that up, and then I have a piece of garlic that I also grew, and I'm going to chop that up as well. So let me do that real quick here. Let me show you a little something here. I'm not really good at making garlic small. So I cut it up into, you know, I don't want to eat a piece this big. So I put some salt on it. And then you could take and just mash it down and kind of separate. And it'll make it more of a paste in a way. And it's just easier for me because I'm not, I'm definitely not a chef. And then I can get it as fine as I want to go in that recipe. I only used a portion of the onion and the garlic because um, this is a small batch so now I can drop in my garlic and my onion. I like to add a boiled egg to mine just something I usually have around the house and anytime I can add a little extra protein into the meal why not? Very similar to potato salad you guys. Um, I do make a good macaroni salad with tuna. Unfortunately, I'm the only one who eats it here, and I just didn't want to put it into the budget. And tuna in my area is kind of expensive, so even just one can is like almost $2. And I can use that on something else. So I'm going to chop this egg and stick that in there. This is where it differs a little bit from my potato salad because I add mayonnaise and horseradish. Instead, I'm going to use mayonnaise and sour cream. So I start with the sour cream because I like a pretty good sized dollop in there. Well, a lot more than that if I was making a big one, but I like to put that in there. And I just made another batch of mayonnaise. I had to pick up another um, container of oil and I picked up some milk while I was at the Dollar Tree so that um, I have it available. And as I mentioned earlier, and I'll mention one more time tonight, I'm going to be out of town so I won't um, be making videos for a couple of days, but I should have another one go up on uh, Thursday because I hopefully, unless something happens when I'm down there, I will be back Wednesday sometime afternoon. Of course, you're going to taste this for seasoning. You could add, if it's not garlicky enough, you can add garlic powder, onion powder, whatever you like. Let me taste this here. Definitely need some salt and pepper. And where's my pepper? Where's my pepper? And then I like to keep it in the fridge for at least a couple of hours. I did add some chives. I don't know if I told you that. I had some chives in here from the garden. Um, I've done it with sliced, really like minced radishes is kind of neat because it gives that that peppery taste. 
Um, you know, I've chopped up all kinds of stuff in here, but once again, the boys, I have to be careful what I put in it. Oh, that's much better. There you go. My quick and easy macaroni salad. Well, everyone, I figured dinner is going to be kind of simple tonight. I have some of that sausage that I bought. I actually made two packages because um, the guys, we have been outside working all day and they're a little hungry today. So they can each have quite a bit of sausage. Macaroni salad I made, cucumber I found, well, I found a few in the garden, and then a nice big salad. So there you go. Simple meal, but filling and delicious. Anyway, I will see you again in a few days. I hope you come back and join me, and I hope you have a wonderful day.